previously on Fly with the Guy. It was dark for like most of the flight. Hey y'all! Hey, uh... It's against the law. You will not fly and you could get fined. I've been trying to make my wallet fold all day. Cashing in my dreams, big payout. Underneath my money tree, big shade out. Now these models win. Good morning, you all. I'm Brandon. I'm a guy who flies. I'm a flight attendant for a rapidly growing U.S. carrier who's Miami based, who's up much earlier than I would want to be up this morning. However, we are on our way to the airport because we're working a two-day trip. This happens to be the same two-day trip that I just worked last week. It's a 3-2, three, three legs today, two legs tomorrow. Yeah, it's kind of cold in Southern Florida, which is weird to say. It's not cold, it's a brisk out here this morning. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and head to work. My report time is 6.05 and it's like 5.16 and so I'm gonna get there in enough time to be able to, you know, get to the crew room, get checked in. I made coffee, but I still might slide by Dunkin' Donuts to get a breakfast sandwich or something. Because it's early and we got three flights to work. And uh, I got up at four o'clock and I'm not gonna be done until like 4.30. So, here we go. Yo. Easy and breezy coming to work. I actually took the expressway because the non-toll way to get to my house I mean, to get from my house to the airport, they're doing construction, and there's a detour that adds like an unnecessary five minutes. And I'm not with all that. So, took the expressway, got here in no time. Would you believe that I was up and out last night with my friends? If you was on IG, you definitely saw the shenanigans. <laughs> if you saw my IG story, but we are here. Don't know where this energy is from, but I hope I have it all day. I probably should have stopped and got a red bull. Honestly, that's what I really should be. Layer one. Layer two. Is it the right direction? Yes. The number of people that have these things all upside down. Work bag. Okay, the car is locked. Telephone. Coffee cup. Get the phone from uh, her in this bed. So I ain't got to hold it right away. As I mentioned, I'm working three flights today. Not flying leave, but I am working up front in the cabin. I'm flying with two of my classmates, so should be a good day and a good trip. Um, yeah, let's go to work. All right, so not the best start to the morning. Y'all, not only was I early to work, I was 25 minutes early coming to the gate. Like, so remember that the next time I might be late. That on today, I was early. But how about, I got random, so I had to go through regular security. He turned my bag over to the side. I did not properly secure my coffee cup. So when my bag came through TSA, all I saw was coffee. And I'm like, where's that coffee coming from? It's coming from my cup. Like, I don't even know if you all will be able to see this, but literally the bottom of this bag had about an entire foot of cup there's nothing left in here like this cup was full of nice coffee and look at that that's a swallow and i'm down here in the jet bridge because i was just upset and i didn't want to get upset in front of people so like i came down the jet i was like let me just go to the gate just don't stop walking don't stop walking go straight to the gate you'll handle it when you get there our plane it's not even on. Here I am, I'm just gonna take everything out of this bag, right here in the jet bridge, and I'll figure it out. Who told you that you can't be mad, you can be? Who told you lies, I know? All right, so everything has been wiped out. It's currently drying. We have power, so I'm about to go on and do my check. And then I'll come back and worry about this. Just know you'll never have to leave. God, 
Too hard to find out, it's like $20 and stuck to your clothes I'm sorry I missed out on holidays, I was just plotting on spinning the globe I'm sorry that most of my problems are brought up whenever you ready to go do not believe the hype. It is not all glitz and glamour. Oh, you have to go. I can't tell what he's like. Yeah, it's next to section eight. Oh, how would you know? Which um, one was it? It's downtown, and it. The area called Yarbor or Yarbor? Ebor. Oh, yeah. Ebor. Didn't know this. Okay, I'll check you out later. Alright. Oh, MG. I have made it to the hotel, you all, and I think this is the first time I'm physically talking to you all since this morning let me do one of these numbers and i'll be back right with you so let's talk about today <laughs> i went out last night and had a really really good time and you know being young wild and free and not the responsible adult i was not prepared for work so when i finally got home in the wee hours of the morning i decided to throw some clothes in the bag i didn't have quality food to meal prep so that was a wash <laughs> um but i did everything i needed to do late went ahead and ironed my uniform and everything it's like late at night and i'm like let me just iron the uniform so it's already ironed when i wake up in like three hours or whatever so i did that i got up even though i didn't want to go get up when my alarm went off at four i got up got dressed threw some food in the in my food tote and i went to work and like I told you all, this morning I was early. I even made myself a nice cup of coffee. But oh, buddy. <laughs> I was selected for a random security screening, went through security. This little latch right here was on my cup like this. And not down like that. So when I put the bag on the conveyor, it was sitting up. Cup was sitting in the bag. I should have just held it. Unbeknownst to me, the guy that the TSA agent who was working the thing, working that area, laid my bag down. So the bag and the cup went like this. Mind you, the cup was open. So that was that. <laughs> when the bag came out, I saw coffee. Why is there coffee? I'm like, oh shit, it's leaking. I was like, don't worry about it, don't worry about it. Just get to the gate, just get to the gate. You'll, you know, you turn the bag back up. It won't be leaking anymore. Just get to the gate. I had stopped where I stopped to assess the situation. When I started walking away, there was a puddle of coffee. So I'm like, oh my gosh, it's probably in my rollerboard too. You all saw me down at the gate trying to rectify the situation. Everything was wet. My bullet journal is like damaged. We're gonna call this Coffee Gate because at the end of the year, when I look back at it, I'm gonna be like, you all remember how pretty it was and then Coffee Gate messed it up? My book that I'm reading right now is damaged. And mind you, all of this is still wet because I haven't had the chance to leave anything out to dry. But that was that. I was like, you know what? It's not gonna ruin my day, except y'all know I hate the mornings and I really needed a cup of coffee and I didn't have it. And then we started boarding and then I was working in a cabin and this girl came on and her bag was large and she began to put it up. She first, the spot over her seat was open, was full. Then I was like, we'll just put it in the next available spot. There's a spot right there. And then we had the Diddy stare down like, and I'm like, and she's like, aren't you gonna put it up? And I'm like, <laughs> No, I can assist you with it if it's your bag. If you packed it, you need to be able to put it in the overhead bin. That's why it's called a carry-on because you carry it on. I said, if you want me to do it, I'm going to tag it and it's going to meet you at baggage claim at your final destination. And then so she was like, but you are a man and da 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 And I was like, there's not always a male flight attendant on your flight. When you pack a carry-on, it's your responsibility to be able to keep it in your possession and stow it, but I'll assist you, which I did. All of our flights today were either like, 
none of them, we didn't leave delayed on any flight. We left on time. But the taxi and waiting in line to take off, like we were number six to leave Miami. So the whole time we were waiting to take off, that took up all of the extra time we were supposed to have. So when we got to Atlanta, oh, let's talk about the fact that somebody got sick on the flight to Atlanta and that vomit was everywhere. <laughs> Like, and it was a full flight. This flight was oversold by 19 people. It was full vomit everywhere. <laughs> just a mess. But I was not the first on the scene, thankfully. Like, we tend to, like, bounce off. Like, when the call bell rings, we kind of like, oh, I, I did the last one, so you do this one. Like, we don't say it, but it's just kind of, like, unspoken or whatever. So I didn't get that one. The one that I got, they just wanted to purchase some water. But, yeah. That was not, so I was not the first on the scene. I didn't have to deal with it. My coworker did, but shout out to her. It's just mess. You got the, the, the powder stuff that like solidifies it all, all over the carpet and everything had to be wiped down. The seats had to be wiped down, the seat back. The safety information cards had to be thrown away because they were just, they looked like this, <laughs> like this. It was a mess. Thought that I would be able to get off and get breakfast from Popeyes he didn't just like, no, we're about to start boarding because you all came in late. And also, it was too early because Popeyes doesn't open that early. So there goes me getting some food. Like we board up or whatever. And this, this lady's like, sir, sir, sir. And I'm like, yes. <laughs> and she's like, she's having an asthma attack. And I'm like, so then I had a pastor that had an asthma attack because 12 people came running on right at the very end because I guess they underestimated how much, how long it takes to get through Atlanta Hartsfield Jackson Airport and so they almost missed the flight. So they were running and I think that caused her to have an asthma attack. So I had to assist her and I'm like medical, medical, medical. It was just medical after medical after medical, like so many situations. And then we worked to fight the Trenton and we were number 12 in line leaving Atlanta. So that took up all of our extra time that we were supposed to have. So as soon as we got to Trenton and got those people off and deplane and the plane left clean, it was literally time to board again. And we were coming back to Atlanta. And this time there were no medical. It was a very quiet flight. It was a light up. But now we're here. And because of everything that I've gone through, I am going to slam click. Okay, we have 21 hours here. I am not leaving this room. When I checked in, I handed over my ice packs. <laughs> I was like, can you freeze these for me? Thank you. Because I don't want to come back downstairs. I will order room service. I will order Grubhub. I will order Uber Eats. I will order DoorDash. I'm not leaving this room. That was a very, very long story time. And this vlog is about to be super long because of it but i have a vlog i need to film i mean not a vlog i need to film i have a video i need to film i have a vlog i need to edit i have to post today's videos i need to do my tutoring lesson plans i need to make my to-do list for this cancun trip that i'm going on this week i have way too much stuff to do and i'm tired because i only got like three hours of sleep so yeah i am signing off here i don't think y'all will see me again until tomorrow Cause, no, peace. Good afternoon, y'all, don't freak out. I got my mask right here in my hand. I'm just opening up today's vlog and maybe catching a thumbnail. Let's go home day. We have two flights today. We head to Raleigh and then from Raleigh we hit Miami. Hopefully home by 6 p.m. because I got things to do. Don't want to be out all day and fooling around on these flights. So I had a really good night, you all. Like, thought I was gonna take a nap, didn't end up taking a nap, went to sleep. Did not wake up until 2.30 a.m. And then I was up from then until forever. And I ended up ordering IHOP this morning for breakfast. I had my meal prep in the room or whatever. Um, yeah, that was that. Let's go to work. Who left pop eyes on here? And sunflower seeds. <laughs> All right, so we have made it to Raleigh. Easy flight, 50 minutes. Um, I didn't tell y'all what I did because I was rushing, but over my layover, I did get my Be It With Me video, I filmed the second part, edited the whole thing, and got that uploaded. And I went ahead and 
edit it and upload it to blog that will go live on Thursday. Because I'm going on a trip, so I just want that already out the way. So the only thing I have left to do today is my tutoring lesson plans, and I probably need to go to the grocery store. I think I'm gonna go to the grocery store on my way home, just make myself go ahead and do it, so I can get it out the way. And then that'll be done. So I'll have food from the two red eye turns that I have coming up back to back starting tomorrow. And that's gonna be it for this week. Like, <laughs> and then, I, yeah, cause I go on a two day trip after I come back from Cancun. So I wanna go ahead and do laundry and pack for that trip. So that is already out the way and I won't have to worry about that when I come from that trip. So I think I got the whole week sorted out. Like. I think I'm good. I think I'm good. Alright guys. Just like that, we are back at MIA in this two-day trip. Which was a series of unfortunate events. Oh! Vlog title right there. <laughs> uh, it's over. And, you know, I didn't want to jinx it earlier and say that today was going well, but today actually did go well. Like, no issues. I'm like squirming right now because I really have to use the restroom and I didn't use the restroom on the plane because I thought I might get drug tested, but I didn't, so I'm about to go to the restroom. I'm gonna end the vlog here. Subscribe if you're not. Welcome back to those of you who are returning. I'm Brandon of a guy who flies and I will see you all the next time. L look at this. What kind of sense do this make? Ooh.